Hello, let's play some Hangband. Hangband is a Japanese text-based uh, roguelike adventure game, dungeon exploration game. It's free, it's open source, uh, and I'll have the links in the text below to where you can download it. I have compiled my own uh, text-based version in Sigwin on Windows 11. Um, I made a couple tiny tweaks to the code, which I will tell you about. Uh, I wanted to tell you what the name Hangband means. So Hangband is a variant of the game Angband, which is a which is I th was I think made by um, students in Great Britain. Uh, Hangband is a fork from well, Hangband is a variant of a variant of Angband. Uh, the original variant was called Zangband. Hangband is made by folks whose first language is Japanese. And um, it follows the pa pattern of hang of ang band variants, which usually end in band, for instance. So the 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 variant that hang band branched off of was called zang band. That Z stood for uh, Zelazny, which was the author that it took a lot of ideas from for monsters and things. Um, so hang band was was their take on that naming scheme for variants of Angband, but Hangband is actually kind of an acronym in Japanese, uh, because the the sound in, in the Japanese, it's four it's four Japanese characters, four kanji, I think, the sort of complex looking characters. Um in fact well, I don't want to go there and get the anyway, you'll you'll I'll I'll have links to, to this where you can look this up. But uh the four characters have individual meanings. It, when you read them together, they sound out hangbando or hangbando, or actually more like hengubando. I don't know, I can't pronounce Japanese, but something sort of like that, but better. Um, uh, so it's four characters. The first one is hen, which on its own means strange. The second one is gu, which means stupid. The third one is ban, which means barbarian. The fourth one is Do, which means anger. So the name Hangband, which sounds like just another band name, another variant of Hangband name, in Japanese it actually stands for Strange Stupid Barbarian Anger. That's what the name means. That's so awesome. And uh, I, I think that just goes to show what uh, that they know what this game is all about. Uh, so that's what Hangband stands for in uh, Japanese. Okay, so actually since I last recorded a Hangband episode a few weeks ago, there have been big changes to the game because when I recorded that episode, Hangband, thanks to the Hangband de development team in Japan, and uh, backwards Eric, a uh, developer for Hangband, it finally got... Uh, terminal console support so you could actually run it in a true text mode again. I don't know how long that had been broken, but uh, it, had, it wasn't working when I tried it. And um, uh, fortunately, uh, uh, I was on the Angband forum and backwards Eric was there to, to give me some pointers and, uh, and then he was also in contact with the Angband dev team in Japan, and so he was able to get some things going and working and moving, and uh, it got all fixed up. Uh, so that got working. That was last time I had it working, but now there have been actual code changes to support some things in this new terminal mode now that it's working. Um, now, if you had run when I ran Hangband last time, it came out looking something like this. I ran it with... with with the uh, dash dash space dash n command line option, which supposedly gave, well, I used n4, which supposedly gave it, f split it up into four sub windows. That never actually worked. Uh, that is a angband um, command line option and sub option, but it never actually worked in hangband. Hangband had the same sub option support that Zangband had back in the day. This was in 2002 or something when Hangband first came along, which is just, it it just defaults to four sub windows. And I'll show you what that looks like now. 
or what it did look like anyway. So here's four sub windows. There's the main window in the upper left, which still counts as a sub window for enumeration purposes. There's um, there's a sub window, and then there's a sub window, a smaller sub window in the upper right, one in the lower right, and one in the lower left. And those can show different kinds of information. You can configure those, and, and they they tend to get mixed up when you, you change um, screen settings and things. So mine are a little mixed up at the moment. That's all right. Uh, so so that looks fine at this font size, but let's go back out. And this is something that uh, Guarl noticed. Guarl is the well, he's the author of the Compass Band Angband variant. Uh, which is the which is what Frog Compost Band, which is probably the most popular Angband variant currently, um, that is what Frog Compost Band forked from was was Guarl's Compost Band. Um, Compost Band, I think he forked himself from Post Chang Band, uh, and it, well, and he combined it with some other things as well. It it gets pretty complicated. Um, and then, like, some of those went back. Pos Chang Band, for instance, went back into Frog Compos Band, in a way. Anyway, it's it's too confusing for me to figure out. Um, anyway, Guarl also, these days, runs the Angband.live website, where you can go and play, well, now you can play Hangband and 24 other Angband variants, including Angband itself, um, for free, and you don't have to download anything. You just play them right through your web browser. So when Guarl went to get Hangband, now that it had terminal support, he went to get it playing through Hangband Live, he noticed something. So um, he noticed that when you run it in a higher resolution, i.e. a smaller font size, because I run in a fairly large font size to spare my old eyes. Uh, so let's do, let's do eight. This is going to be a really tiny font. Um... So when you would run it in a size like this, it would look like this. So the screen is still the tiny um, minimal terminal size that you could play in like a in like an old default Windows terminal size, you know, window, um, like a Windows command line window that starts about that size. So. So that that wasn't ideal because people these days are used to playing these Angband variants um, so that the map can expand to take up, you know, the rest of the screen resolution people have. So uh, so he wanted to he wanted to update the Hangband code to support the uh, what does he call it? The big screen, uh, I think just, you know, to expand the, the main window there to, to take advantage of larger screen sizes. So he, in fact, did you know, work with the Hangband dev team, and they, uh, they let him make code changes to support that. Um, I, had, I had, in the meantime, because he, he, was, he didn't think that would work. Uh, he thought their code had changed too much, and so he was starting off by practicing implementing big screen mode in older, like, Zangband um, variants and stuff just to uh, to work his way up, I think. But I was like, well, heck with this. So I just I just hacked it into Hangband itself, just copying and pasting from Hangband. And that I, I actually got it working to my shock. Uh, and I showed him. And he was like, oh, <laughs> well, I don't need to do, you know, waste my time with these other. So he just went into it. And then he got in contact with the Hangband dev team. And he, he put in sort of more proper... Uh, uh, a code version of it in, officially in their code repository. Um, I had I had been hoping that because when I hacked it in, just copying and pasting stuff from Hangband, I got I got the uh, N four style support where you would get four sub windows and it all that's all you have to type and you get four pretty nice sub windows that do expand to fill the screen and stuff. Nice nice looking stuff uh, and also easy to remember. He was not interested in doing that. Uh, his interest lay in using another kind of subwindow control that came along after the old uh, Angband dash 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 n style, which was something that um, the author of 
Paz Chang Band came up with because so Paz Chang Band had brand, had forked off of well something something that came after Hang Band or maybe from Hang Band itself I don't remember anyway it, so it came from Hang Band which came from Sang Band and all so all of those inherited just the old default tiny window style um, code so he wanted. He wanted sub windows that were more configurable and could expand to fill the screen and stuff. And he didn't have the uh, dash n dash dash space dash n style that had come along in Ang Band in the meantime. He didn't have that. Instead of trying to co- to uh, to copy that into Paz Cheng Band at the time, he came up with his own system, which is more configurable. Uh, it's also harder to remember and more complicated to type and it's never not really completely documented um anywhere the closest you get is if you look up the frog compost band uh read me uh you will find pretty thorough examples of what to do with it but not not completely thorough anyway uh but anyway so he uh he made the default behavior in hang band to take up the full screen so, so if I run hang band with no, and, he, and then he put in, if you want the old behavior, the tiny screen, you do dash dash space dash O, which I did to show you what it used to look like. But with his changes, now the default behavior takes up, that's, that is actually taking up the full screen. I was confused by this when I hacked my version in, I was getting this as well. And I thought, well, it didn't work. It only expanded the screen a little. That, that's actually not true. It's only taking up this much space on the screen because um, because the dungeon level that I'm in is only that big. So if we go back to oh I'm on I'm on level two of the cave. I have to find a stairway up. I didn't didn't think this through completely. Oh, there's another code change. So you see this blue thing. You can probably barely see it. It's a dark blue. Um, previously, that that blue color was really hard to see against the black background. I I mentioned this to the Hangband dev team. I, I put in a, a suggestion that that uh, they consider lightening it, and they actually did. So they lightened the dark, the very dark blue, which had just been called blue, and it is now not. It doesn't kill your eyeballs to look at so that is really sweet um uh i am this is my over leveled test character so i don't have to worry about these enemies as i wander around looking desperately for a stairway up gosh dang it give me a stairway up please please i mean i'm just gonna suicide this character as soon as I can actually back to playing something you can see uh, actually another couple of the the little code tweaks I did make but I'll tell you about those later well one of them is um, when I was playing in the last episode, you probably saw me bumping into doors a lot because there's this old, wow, that was a lot of money, this old uh, thing where you just you have to pick random door locks constantly. And there's no real point to it because um, you're not going to be fleeing through a door you haven't been through before. Okay, here's a stair. Oh, another thing that confused me last time was I kept traveling by two two levels when I would go up or down some of the stairs and that was confusing me. I thought it was a bug. I actually reported it to the hangband dev team like a jerk. And they, uh, they said, Oh no, there's actually, so if you look at this orange stairway, which you can barely see at this size, see, it says a shaft. It's not a stairway. It's a shaft. So the orange pointy brackets are shafts, not normal stairways. Shafts let you travel or make you travel two floors at a time. So I'm on floor two down. So this will take me right back to the surface since it's a shaft. So here I am at the surface. So this is still, this is a, um, a wilderness tile and my screen resolution is still so large right now that, uh, you can see that 
you're seeing the maximum size of this wilderness tile. Um, if I, if I go one step over here, I am in another wilderness tile, so you can see it transitions. Now, the, the wildernesses came from, well, they started in, well, in Zangban, the, the, a real wilderness started in Zangban, but Zangban credits a previous variant called Kangband, or maybe it was a simultaneous variant. Anyway, it's an, an old variant called Kangband, which, which had cities with a little... Uh, you know, forest and grassland around them, or towns. You couldn't go wander, and then there was just a wall, so you couldn't go into a next wilderness square over. There was just a wall around the whole thing. Um, but, and you can play Kang Band on Kang Band Live, by the way, you can see it for yourself. Uh, but that, I think, gave people the idea, you know, that, hey, wildernesses, and there had been other older roguelikes that had done a wilderness like um, Omega. Um, so Zangband actually did implement a wilderness. Now Zangband's wilderness was only, uh, it was, it's something like eight by eight wilderness squares or something. It's just a little, a little tangle of towns in the middle. And, uh, and then like ar around the towns, there's like a volcano square and some other dungeon square and stuff like that. It's this tiny little postage stamp style uh, size wilderness. And I'll, but so Z uh, that was Zangban. So when um when Hangban came along and branched off of Zangban, they took that code support for a, a wilderness but made it much bigger. And how much bigger you're asking? Well, I must eat something here. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so I think I can do it. No, cannot. Monsters? What? I don't see monsters. Come on. Ah! Where are these monsters? Why are you giving me a hard time? Is it because it's nighttime? I'm just going to go sleep somewhere until... That's probably still not going to work. Oh, here we go. So here is the here is the Hangband map, the, the essentially the world map of Hangband. Um, it, it it struck me as looking kind of like Great Britain, the British Isles, uh, but also kind of like what was the other thing? Well, Guarl thought it it reminded him of Europe, of all of Europe, which I can see as well. Um, uh, but also a little bit like Japan itself. So uh, anyway, uh, anyway, it's much bigger than than Hangbands or Zangbands uh, eight by eight or whatever map. Don't that's it wasn't eight by eight, I don't think, but it was something around there. Uh, so Hangbands is bigger. Um, and uh, somebody asked me on the forum. Um, actually, it was Cryomaniac. Uh, I may have mangled his name, I think, asked me on the forum if Hangman's map had changed. And I went and looked back, back to the very first public version of Hangband, and the map has never changed. They have never changed the map. Uh, but it's a pretty cool piece of ASCII art, I think. And if you've played Frog Compost Band, you'll, I think you'll see, uh, it'll seem fairly familiar to you. Frog Compost Band has added more locations, more dungeon locations, um, and changed around details and added some islands and things, but there's still a lot of similarities. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I'm still hungry. Um, so now I'm being attacked by random monsters. I tried to move northwest in the wilderness, and I immediately got attacked by a novice mind crafter and a novice warrior. So here I am in a, in a randomly generated wilderness, uh, encounter. So this area is, is, um, generated on the fly. Wildcat, I got a giant white centipede. What's this thing? Raven. My dexterity's been drained and my constitution. I got all these guys in my face. Potion of water. Why did I, okay. Can I, can I get out of here? Okay. So, uh, you can travel around in this view 
which is sort of a fast type of travel. Uh, I did see somebody playing. There's a service in towns. I think it's from the inns or the taverns or whatever. No, it's the inns where you can fast travel, actual fast travel between, I think, between the inns and towns you've been to. I haven't been to any other towns, so I can't do that. Now, there there may be more dungeons. The dungeons you see here, um, these purple, right, pointy brackets, um, those are, you know, dungeon entrances. It tells you the level. So here's a glass castle, level 40. But it's not showing the Yeet Cave. It's showing a, a, an asterisk for the town of Outpost, which is in the same map square as the Yeet Cave. So there could very well be other dungeons beyond the pointy brackets you see here that are that are here, maybe near the towns or somewhere near other features. Uh, so, but even so, there's still a lot of, a lot of dungeons you can see right on the map itself. Dragon's Lair, level 60. What's also neat is that it, oh, if I could get it. Yeah, so when you travel around just tile by tile, it tells you, or it was at one point. I think somewhere it was telling me just like the general level of the terrain so you could know what level monsters to expect. It's not telling me that right now. Hmm. Shift I? No. Anyway, you can, so you can travel in the, in the map view. Here I am going out. Oh, and here you can see that blue again. It's much lighter than it used to be. The darker water up in the Northwest, for instance. So this is like, I'm just wading through shallow coastal waters here. And if I zoom down, um, like what's here, you know, it's like open floor, dirt, shallow water. So it's just kind of like a swampy, just this huge swampy extended coastal stuff. So, you know, it's not like there's a ton of stuff. It is a kind of a vast empty wilderness in a way. Kind of weird. Uh oh, I got poisoned by something. Something I didn't see cast stinking cloud. So now I'm stuck and I won't be able to zoom back out to the travel map because there's a monster on my case. I'm almost dead. I'm probably gonna oh wow. Oh it's a five headed hydra. I'm dead. do I have any potions? No, I haven't identified my potions. So yeah, don't go wandering off into the wilderness when you're unprepared. Uh because even this innocent coastal region, it turns out there's just a five headed hydra lurking in uh in this muddy shoals and i died uh, don't don't top the screen don't do the last words i thought i turned last words off maybe i didn't or there isn't a way to actually do it um yes i'm dead yes thank you uh so that um so that is the big screen mode that quarrel has added in uh as I was saying, you can, you can use, and he also added in the, the frog compost band style window control or sub window control. So if you want to get four sub window, a four sub window setup like you would get in Angband with dash, 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 and four, uh, Hangband does not have that Angband N style sub window controls. You can't do that. You have to use the POS Chang band style command. And it, it seems I, I worked this out. It seems to be to get to get the N behavior, you do uh this rather complicated dash dash space dash right space forty six by twenty four comma colon. That's specifying the right hand area so that the, it's going to make a 46 column wide sub window on the right hand side and the top one will be 24 rows tall and then the, the one below it there will be one below it that just takes up the rest of the available space that'll be the corner window and then um to get the the uh the n4 behavior you would do bottom 
uh, dash bottom space asterisk. So it's going to be as wide as it can fit. And then uh, 12, I think it's 12 rows high. Uh, but I actually have been playing with it on top. I saw a player doing this on Angband Live, and it kind of makes sense to me. So if I do that, oh, I have to expand to full screen. That was another silly little bug I told them about that they fixed. When, if you had done, if you tried to run in a tiny window, tinier than the 80 by 24 minimum area, it had said, uh, it had said Angband needs an 80 by 24 cursor screen. But, you know, obviously this is an Angband, it's Hangband. And actually, uh, it was, um, it was backwards Eric who I noticed did the actual fix for this in in Hangband's source repository just uh, just days ago. Uh, yes, let's quick start for now. So now I um I have the main window which still fits the whole world map. And to, to zoom back in, you use the right pointy bracket. Um, do you really get in this dungeon? Yes, I get in this dungeon. Now, you wouldn't even notice that this map is not the full, like, is tinier than your actual resolution with this tiny font, unless, except that the default map screen option has map marked by detect traps. That's what all those gray X's are. They basically show areas that have not been checked for traps. So if you used, if you cast a detect trap spell, it would clear the the uh, the gray X's in an area around you, I think. I think I did that once, maybe? I don't know. Also, if you just walk through squares manually. But you can turn that off if you don't like those X's. I actually think those X's are cool, so I tend to keep it on. Um, uh, I wanted to run into a monster so I could show you the sub windows, but the first levels are pretty, pretty light on monsters. First levels of this newbie eek cave. Let me get my X's. Well, so yeah, so when you don't have the X's, it, it looks, you know, normal hangband ish. Here's a monster. So, there, my sub window is, you know, way off in the corner there because I have such a big screen. Um, uh, so you can see those sub windows. Anyhow, I don't want to run in a resolution that this tiny. I'm going to get my big font back. Okay, so I think I've babbled long enough outside the game. Um, if you want to know the procedure I follow for compiling Hangman, it's here, and then you can clone it from GitHub with git clone. This is in Sigwin, uh, which you can, which is also free, and you can just run in Windows. Um, it provides a Linux-like environment that is capable of downloading, compiling, and running Hangman in a terminal. Uh, so I, uh, I don't know if I have this actually pasted in text anywhere, but uh, I don't know if I should. Anyway, uh, some of these settings I got from the CX flag thing, because for instance, the, the EXE it was generating me was like 230 megabytes. And, uh, I asked on the forum about that and backwards Eric said, oh, well, the default behavior is including, what did he call it? Debug, uh, debug characters or something debug symbols I think maybe and so you can turn it off with that um, uh, I have also out of paranoia been when I make these builds that I'm recording I do make clean which takes longer to compile it's a, kind of a slow compile because unlike other Angband variants which are written in C Hangband they've converted to C++ which Backwards Eric just, I, I need to look up the difference between C and C++, but Backwards Eric was saying it, yeah, it just seemed to imply that C++ takes longer to compile than C, and it does, like, he said, um, uh, 
God, what was he using to compare it? Something, some automated compile, like uh, compile that GitHub was doing, but it was like three minutes for some C compile and versus twenty minutes for a for a C plus plus compile. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get out of this and just go run the game. I'm gonna make a new character. I think it's Shift Q to commit suicide. Yes, of course, suicide. It's not something you would want to do in real life, I hope, but uh, here nobody actually gets hurt. Uh, and it makes way for another character. Goodbye. Oh, there's something else that... Mm, I don't know. I'm confusing myself. There have been so many changes since I last recorded. I don't want a quick start. Let's do a random gender... And I'm hitting sh uh, asterisk here. Random race. Am I sure what? So I'm a female cyclops. I don't know what I... Why is it asking me if I'm sure? Give me cyclops. Yes. Choose a class. Random class. Female cyclops. Beastmaster. Sounds good. Uh, okay. Okay. And Trump magic. Now, Trump magic is not, you know, political. Uh, I could do a random personality, but personality actually is kind of... Oh, no. No, I'm not sure about Munchkin. Personality is kind of important to... Because uh, it can boost your stats. See, I don't have to do that now. I'll do that later. Um, I think I can hit question mark... So if I'm a Beastmaster, I kind of forget what Beastmasters do. Shrewd raises intelligence and magical skills. Oh, it reduces physical stats. What? Um, uh, shoot, I gotta look up what Beastmaster does. All right, let's restart. So I was a female. Beastmaster. Let me look this. Oh, no, that's a race. Uh, I was a Cyclops, wasn't I? Well, I'm going to pretend it was a Cyclops because that's what I seem to remember reading. Where the heck is Cyclops? There it is. Uh, oh. Um, okay. Beastmaster. Actually, if I if I hit question mark while on Beastmaster, no. Can I search Beastmaster? That was a slash. Okay. In tune with the creatures of the worlds of Hangman, they are very good at riding. Have enough fighting ability. Monsters that a Beastmaster summons or dominates become the Beastmaster's hands and feet. Cast Trump Magic, very good at summoning spells. They cannot summon non-living creatures. Charisma determines their spell casting ability. Use Trump Magic. Uh, don't want any living thing. Okay. So Charisma. Um, so I would want... Want a personality. So I, I think sexy, for instance. It's like only females can be the sexy personality, but then there's a a lucky one that only males can be, so go figure. Uh, sexy raises all your abilities, but your haughty attitude will aggravate all monsters. Mm -hmm. Combat, fearless. I don't think anything. Oh, actually, I think one of these is still not actually described. Which is Charge Man. Charge Man doesn't. It lowers charisma. Oh, I could have just been looking at. So, sexy, for instance, gives me plus three charisma. So, we're doing sexy. Even though it seems a little sexist that only females have it. But, uh,. I guess in this case it's an advantage. Okay, so here's the birth options. Um, 
I don't think I'm going to mess with these. I think these are fine. Uh, yeah. That seems fine. Got some good strength. Uh, I don't care about these. An offspring of an unknown cyclops, green a green isle of that wavy auburn hair and very fair complexion. Cool. So here is my cyclops. I have a mount. What do we have here? A scrawny horse is my mount. Um, see, and it said pet, so it is my pet. So let's see, there's a pet menu with P. I can tell it to... Well, that I want to ride a pet with N, and I specify that direction. So now I'm riding my scrawny horse. Uh, and it's hilarious because, um, well, you'll see what it does to monsters. It, it has its own AI, and it will do things on its own. Now, your mount can be killed while you're riding it. Uh, so I guess that's just something to keep in mind. Um... Go take a look. Oh, there's some monsters, it says. Uh, what do I have for... I have a Trump spell book. Can I learn any spells? No. What spells can I cast? I don't know any spells yet. Okay, well. Uh, and I think... Yeah, so I have powers. Dominate a living thing. Dominate living things. Throw boulder. Um, I might, oh, I don't have any magic points right now. No, so I can't do any of those yet. That's shift O. Yeah, I think it'll just keep saying that because I don't have any, I don't have any magic points. Throw boulder. Weird. Um, oh, that's what Cyclops, Cyclopses do. So the dominate living thing and things is from Beastmaster, and the boulder is from Cyclops. Newt Master. <laughs> that's what I, a starting Beastmaster is a Newt Master. I'm kind of tempted to go through the, the uh, source code and change Trump to something else just so it doesn't sound political. Here's that blue, oh, I killed a hobo. Sorry, hobo. Um, here's that blue. It's, it's much lighter now and not painful. So equipment wise, I have seven rations and three torches. That's, and then I'm wielding a whip at, and I'm wearing soft leather armor. Um, I want to look at my whip. No, in, in Hangman, it would tell you how much damage you do with the weapon. You don't have that in Hangman. Uh, I have 100 gold, so that's not much money, unfortunately. I could get a cloak for another armor class for four, four gold. That seems worth it. Capture ball. What the heck is a capture ball? Activated for... Captures or releases a monster if it is being worn. They're really expensive. So is that how I... Well, no, I have a dominate monster skill that I'll be able to use. This is like Pokemon, but it's super expensive and heavy. Hmm, well, a magic whistle. That's expensive too. I'm not even going to look at it. I don't want to depress myself. Uh, I'm just going to purchase... A cloak, not a fur cloak. I can't afford those. One. Yes. Okay, I bought a cloak. Um. Ding, ding, ding. I could get a small leather shield. What kind of weapon do I have? Oh, I have a whip. I. That's not two-handed, right? So I could get a small leather shield or a metal shield, even. 
Well, I could get a, a cap. Let's just get a hard leather cap uh, and leather, leather gloves and soft leather boots. Purchase B. Yes, purchase. Uh, uh, leather gloves. E. Wait a second. What did I just do? What did I just pick? Oh well, it'll tell me. So yes, leather gloves. Yes. Purchase. Uh, leather boots. Yes. Yes. Okay, good deal. I have 67 gold left, so I, I could still get the small metal shield. Uh, let's keep that in mind. What else do we got here? Okay, so here's weapons. So my whip does... Oh, actually, while you're in the shop, you can look at your equipment. Um, my whip does 1d6, and it's 3 pounds. I mean, gauche is 3 pounds, but it does less damage, so there's not much point in buying that. A saber does slightly more damage for being 5 pounds. A small sword is 7.5 pounds and does the same damage. So I guess at the lower level here, a whip is good uh, damage to weight ratio. Probably should have got a bow, but I don't regret getting armor. Um, so I guess I'll just save my money for the shield. Uh, oh, word of recall spell. I can't even come close to affording that. Dang it. Okay, so what is my spell book? Trump spell book. Phase door could save my bacon, but uh, I mean, who cares? I'm a newbie character. They die like nothing. That stuff's all super expensive. Well, let's just get the shield. Wait, what's in here? Oh, that's the end. So yeah, teleport to other town. Five hundred gold. I do not have the gold. It doesn't tell me what other town it would be either. Probably it would bring up a list and I would have no other towns because I haven't been anywhere. Um, so, oh, I can get the small metal shield. Yeah, let's do that. Purchase K. Yes. Okay, and before I forget, equip all these things or wield with W. Cloak, wield, shield, wield, hard leather cap, leather gloves, Soft leather boots. So now my armor class is 16. My charisma is 18. Uh-oh. Why am I... Why am I moving in random directions? Is my horse acting up? Can I see anything about my horse? Do I have to feed my horse? Uh, I think my horse is mad. Pet menu, get off of pet. Well, all it says is unhurt. Moves a bit erratically. It lives in the town and moves a bit erratically. Uh, I mean, I think it'll follow me around. Yeah, it's moving really erratically. Can I feed it somehow? <sighs> no, doesn't look like it. This pet thing is, I think, new. It's hangband stuff. It, I don't think Zangband had anything like it. Hangband certainly doesn't. Uh, well, my horse is acting weird. Oh, you can name your pet uh name pets oh yes 
Name your scrawny horse. Um, wobbly. Okay, so now, Pike Salmon. A scrawny horse called Wobbly. All right, Wobbly. Um, let's let's just uh, all be cool here. Oh, this weapon is not suitable for use while riding. You're using both hands for fighting. You can't control the pet you're riding. Ah. Okay, so I need to shift T, take off the shield. Okay. So I'm controlling Wobbly with one hand, uh, presumably wielding my whip with the other hand, and do I have the torch just stuck on top of my head? I mean, where's the torch? I don't have, well, I'm not equipping the torch yet, but I will as soon as I go in the newbie dungeon here. So, uh... Hi ho, Wobbly. Off to Beastmastering Adventure. In the newbie dungeon. Oh, I have to wield my torch somehow with my third arm. Maybe Wobbly's holding it in his mouth. Get a scroll. Uh, should I read it? You can accidentally summon monster, but actually in this game, summoning monster summons a friendly monster. I believe, at least I did it once. Oh wow, so I didn't didn't find out what that did. Brown potion. I'm not going to drink that because it could be very bad. Uh, eventually, I should get a feeling of whether it's good or bad. Or I can have it get it identified eventually. Here we have my first monster, aside from that hobo that I accidentally killed before I even saw it. A soldier ant. Um... Now, I think if I just wait here, let's see what Wobbly does. Wobbly, what do you think about this soldier ant? Soldier ant bit me, but Wobbly had already bit it and kicked it. <laughs> and the soldier ant is almost dead. Let's wait another turn and see if Wobbly kills it. Wobbly killed it. He bit it and he kicked it again. So Wobbly's got a kick and a bite attack. That's pretty good. I did take one point of damage. Now, um, hmm. well, let me uh, get off of Wobbly. Wobbly is unhurt. It can bite to attack and kick to attack. It doesn't tell me how much damage its attacks do. Don't know what level Wobbly is. This pitiful horse has not been well fed. It walks unsteadily. Well, I wish I could feed it. But there's no no feed your pet command. I can't pet Wobbly. I can't show Wobbly love aside from riding Wobbly. Well, hi ho, Wobbly. Whoops. Uh. There we go. Wait a second. Now it says this weapon is not suitable for use while riding. Does it mean the whip? Well, I guess we'll see what happens when I actually try attacking somebody. Should I get that sling on a cyclops? I don't know. I, I kind of like bows. Um. Uh, let's get the sling. I'm turning up my nose at slings, which is stupid. Maybe I can't even use bows, I don't know. Read this scroll called Wa Snowfu. Scroll of Phase Door. Alright, well, next time I have one, I'll know what it is, and I'll maybe be able to save myself from a bad situation. So, um, in the, the first levels of the Yeet Cave, there is really, really light on monsters. Large brown snake. Wobbly, you missed the snake three times already. I missed it. So what am I attacking it with, I wonder? Neither of us can hit the snake. I finally hit it. I don't know what I hit it with. 
Was I using my whip? I don't know. Soldier Ant. Wobbly, you didn't even get a hit in there. Gray Mold. Oh, Air Wobbly killed the mold. He bit the mold. Ugh. Mask of Oil. I'll get that in case I find a lantern. Or you can throw it and uh, torch some dudes. Whoops. Wow. That jackal ran off for a second. Wow, it's so weird when... Also, the other thing that I've done is I've turned off... Um, I've turned on... Well, automatically clear more prompts wasn't skipping all of them, oddly enough. I'm not sure why that was. So I turned on automatically skip all messages. So I really have to watch my message history sub window at the top to see what happens because stuff just flies by and it'll probably get me killed at some point. Um, the auto destroying thing is a fun feature of Hangman where you can turn on this auto destroy. Oh boy. Oh no, the jackal bit wobbly. Echo stop. But wobbly bit the jackal back and the jackal died. And before that, I killed a jackal that wobbly had hit. Newt, oh no. Okay, we can tough this out, wobbly. Oh, I went to level two. I feel smarter. Come on, you jackals. Oh, one came up behind me. That was sneaky. And we got a soldier ant. One more jackal. Oh, maybe with this jackal here, I can tell what this scroll does. Nope. Might be, um, I saw somebody saying to test a, while we killed that jackal, to test a scroll, you want to be with an enemy in sight, a stairway uh, in the room, and maybe something else. So, well, here's a stairway, but... I used the scroll, so that doesn't help. Um, well, so I can't really play longer here. I feel like I didn't get anywhere because I spent all this time explaining all these exciting code changes to Hangman. But, uh, oh, so the other tweak I've made to the code is I just made the uh, the white color here for the walls and my ad symbol and the stats and the uh, recall text in the upper right. I made it slightly darker than pure white just because the 100% the white was was a little bright for my eyeballs so that actually requires a code change because uh, unlike current Angband these older variants don't have a in-game color editor which is why I had to request of the dev team that they think about changing that blue which was so hard to see um I'm not going to ask them to change the white because I think most people can handle white. So have I already looked everywhere? No. Nope. And I can just change it in the source code myself. No biggie. Oh, and and I was explaining that the the so yeah the 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 main code change I've made could be seen as a bit of a cheat, which is that I. Um, there's all the doors, every door you encounter in the dungeon could be randomly just locked and you have to sit there banging yourself against it to try to pick the lock automatically, uh, which is just irritating. And there's, it doesn't make it harder because you're not trying to flee through doors you haven't explored yet. Um, it's just, it's just this silly delay. So I just made it so that I never fail at my lockpick attempt, because like I said, I failed 69 times. I had to bash my face against a random, just generic dungeon door 70 times just to get past it in the last play. Just a meaningless door. I and mean, it's just pointless. Uh, in in regular Angband, there is still some kind of lock picking, but it's hardly ever noticeable. You hardly ever hit a single, a single de uh, uh, turn delay getting through any door. And I, so I kind of wonder why they just haven't taken it out completely um 
yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I got to scroll. I'm impatient, so I'm just going to try reading it. Uh-oh. Oh, it summoned a... Well, so this was summoned monster, and it's not a friendly band of monsters. They hit wobbly. Well, I was wrong, but I, I summoned um with my test character. Yesterday, I was just running around, and I, I got a summon monster scroll, and it summoned... Uh, the, whatever the beast of the USSR, it's a unique character, and it wasn't attacking me. So I thought um, maybe in this game, summon monster was friendly monsters, but uh, well, it's attacking wobbly. That's not cool. It's killing wobbly. It's not friends with me. So I killed the kobold. Wobbly killed the newt. Um, this makes me wonder. Wobbly is wounded, but it doesn't tell me how wounded. I wonder how I, like, could I cast heal monster and that would heal Wobbly? I don't know. But I don't have that, of course, so that's an academic question at the moment. Um, another scroll. Here's a grid bug. Maybe it'll do something to the grid bug. Scroll. Oh, great. Well... That, uh, that's why you wouldn't want to test scrolls near monsters. Maybe I can still get that grid bug. Uh, the scrawny horse evolved into a horse, and now I'm at riding minus three? It will evolve into a horse when it gets enough experience. Well, I guess it got enough experience. Did it get dark in this room? It wasn't dark before, was it? Oh, my, uh, somewhat wounded. So it went from wounded to only somewhat wounded. So now it's a horse. I wonder if that means it gets more attacks or something. I'll have to find out about some attacks now. Well, at least he isn't, or she isn't looking mal malnourished. I don't know, Wobbly's gender. Uh, okay, back, back on a Wobbly. Wobbly, you have evolved. I'm so proud. I don't know... I wasn't ride minus three before. I think it was like zero. So I don't know why that would be. Do I need like a, a saddle or something? I'm gonna turn back on the detect traps thing. Cause I like these crazy X's. They make hangman, they give hangman a, a unique look. It can be sort of irritating to clear them out in a dark room like this. You don't need to, of course. It just shows where you have not confirmed that there are no traps by, in this case, walking through the actual square. They can be, the X's can be a little, a little confusing, admittedly. Kind of a lot of noise. Secret doors all over. Oh, that may be a dead end there. Um, wobbly. Kicked it. Bit it and kicked it. Well, that's the attacks Wobbly had before. There's a door there. Oops. Uh... Well, it looks like that's so these yeah, these yeet cave levels are fairly small. Now there's a there's a shaft right here. So I could go down to level three, but I don't really want to do that. I got myself in trouble doing that before. So I'll just take a normal stairway, which is the white ones. Let's see down staircase. Now I, I was telling them that well Nobody ever does an exam and on a staircase. So because I'd been playing things like Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup where staircases come in all different colors, I had come to think that color had no no meaning for a staircase. So I didn't think that this orange pointy bracket was anything different than a just a regular staircase. Uh, and when you take it down, it says the same thing that you, the same text you get when you take a staircase, which is... Whoops, not that, which is 
you enter a maze of down staircases. So it's, if it's a shaft, I, I suggested to them that they make that say something different, like, um, you know, the shaft, you plummet downward two floors through the shaft or, or something, you know, but um, they, they didn't seem to understand or care that, about that. So uh, I don't know, whatever. I can learn a spell now. Stud, it says in the lower right of my view window. I'm going to stud. Shift G, Trump. I can learn Phase Door. Trump Spider. Well, Phase Door will save my bones. Trump Spiders. I, I did play a Beastmaster briefly. It was like a fairy Beastmaster or something. I had Trump Spiders. I think it was Trump Spiders. That gets pretty wild. There's spiders like all over eventually. But Phase Door is probably. Oh, wait. That says level five, so I can't. Uh, well, I'm getting spiders then. Okay, let's do it. I don't have any. What if I rest? Okay, I have 10 spell points. Oh, what was my other power? I can dominate a living thing. Anyway, spiders. Um, so all these dark gray S's are spiders and they are my buddy's unhurt pet so they're still under the pet command which is follow me uh, I guess I could try I could tell them to seek and destroy and they, like, maybe they would just fan out across the dungeon I don't know I'm not sure exactly what the difference between follow me and stay close is did that work oh so now they group more tightly around me Whereas if they're on just follow me, they spread out a little more. Interesting. Give me space. Stay away. Pets open doors. I don't think these spiders could open doors. All right, well, here we go. Horse and spiders. Horse and spiders. What? A, oh, well, I destroyed Sayak, the weakest big four of Beelzebub. It shouted arg, and I killed it before I even saw it was there. It was definitely weak. Got some dough. Got a lot of dough. Thanks, Syak. Uh, where do... Oh, my spiders are here. It's just a, You're always in the dark in the hallway, mostly. Spiders? There they are. <laughs> just a flood of spiders. And as you level, as you get higher level... It just generates more spiders when you cast it. Um, the spiders, of course, are fairly weak. Quite weak, really. Uh, although, I think eventually you start getting tougher spiders, too. I think I, I started generating some tougher spiders on my previous little test character once. Well, wait. So this is a... This seems like a dead end. There's got to be a secret door around here somewhere. Wish my spiders could find secret doors. I guess there doesn't have to be a secret door. I mean, uh, so inadvertently, looking th when I was looking through the source code for... What was I looking for? Something about the world... What did I want to do? Oh, I, when I was trying to figure out why my I thought my maps were coming out, why my view screen wasn't coming out to full screen size, I was looking for something that would control that size. So anything pertaining to the world rendering I was looking at. And um, uh, where was I going with this? Oh my gosh, senior moment. Oh, yeah, I happened to see a file that specified the uh, the depth of the Yeek Caves. Maybe this is when I was looking up some map info for the world map. Anyway, and I think it was, uh, spoiler, uh, I think it was eight levels. I haven't been down that far, I guess. And I am not finding a secret door, even though I'm mashing the search button as I walk around on the walls here. So maybe there isn't one. 
Well, uh, I'm just going to go back down. Oh, yeah, the levels here are, are um, uh, what do you call it? They aren't randomized each time. They, they stay. This, the floors stay generated the way they generated the first time, which is not what Angband normally does, and probably later dungeons don't do that. But, uh, did, all my, did I lose all but one spider? What did you, where did my spiders go? Maybe they didn't follow me so well down the stairs. Can I get some more spiders in here, please? Nobody answers to my trump call. Is that because I still have my trump call? Ah. Oh, I'm out of magic. Ah. Maybe I need to lose that last spider before it'll work. Um... Is there another staircase down I could try? I mean, I could take that two down one. I guess that's my... Wow, there's no other down staircase. Well, guess I am going two floors down. I mean, I did explore the next floor down, technically. Oh no, this floor is even tinier. Wow. Oh, there's... Okay, I found a door in this one. Now, that would be funny if I found a, a stairway down here and I could go back to a, an unfound area of the previous level. Oh, now I have a phase door scroll. Sweet. And another whip. I don't need that. Whoops. Did my... See, this is another thing with not having the more prompts or skipping the more... Oh, well, all prompts. I don't see when my torch burnt out. And I think I set it to auto-destroy burned-out torches. No, maybe it can't do that. Okay, so I don't have any spiders with me. Can I... Can I call some more spiders? Yes. Why did the spiders attack Wobbly? Well, maybe Wobbly killed the former spider. So, I don't see how this summoning thing is going to work if my horse attacks my summons. Why did they attack it? They didn't before. Did they spawn? This is weird. No, now they're attacking me. The cave spider twitters. What the heck? Wobbly, you turn my spiders against me. Got a centipede crawling on Wobbly. Epic battle between Wobbly and the centipede. Wobbly killed the cold. This is getting weird, man. Huh, the level indicator in the lower right just turned yellow, I think. I can't rest because this cave spider is now hostile. Jeez. Ah, come on. Well, Wobbly, I don't know how this is going to work. Let me try some more spiders. Get ready. Okay, don't attack. Okay, now they're cool. So are they just randomly hot? No. Oh, I pushed past it. That's normal. Are they just randomly hostile? Did they spawn, like, on top of Wobbly somehow? And, oh, it's Yuichi the Arsonist. I've fought him once before, I think. A serial Arsonist produces fireballs. Well, I don't want him to fireball me 10% of the time. Wobbly is fighting him. There'd be so much hitting the space bar, bar here. Well, looks like we're getting the better of him. Oh, wait. Okay, so my Wobbly's hit points are that bar right below mine, I hope, and not the one too below, which is almost gone. No, that was the arsonist. So Wobbly's hit points are there, I see. A Lucerne Hammer, 2d5. 
Um, weighs 12 pounds. I mean, I don't know how much damage I'm doing. There's no way to turn on a damage readout. Uh, I mean, in theory, I attack faster with the whip. I'm just going to keep using the whip. Forget the hammer. I wonder if that rubble would slow up my spiders. Where did my spiders go? Did, did I lose them when I ran? Come on, spiders. It barks loudly. My spider barked. Oh, no, that's probably Grip, the dog. They were trying to bite Grip, but they missed him. Last time I was worried that because there are, you, there's a bounty system in the game where, oh, here I can learn another spell, where, uh, so I'm level five, so I can learn phase door now, yes, um, where you can get bounties for bringing back the corpses of certain monsters to town, to uh, one of the places in town, um, and I was worried that with this auto-destroying thing, maybe it would... Uh oh, okay. So can my spiders and I beat... Oh my gosh, all these giant white louses. Well, it doesn't say they... Oh no, it does say they breed explosively. Um, this could get bad. Wobbly's biting them. Are my spiders... Oh no, my spiders are getting killed. Can I get some more spiders here? Yes. Come on, spiders. We got to get these guys. Oh, man. I'm down to two spiders. Maybe it didn't work. I'm taking some hits, too. Um, I think all my spiders are dead. There's more spiders. Come on, spider, my spider. Oh, no, I'm getting hurt bad. I got to I gotta retreat, Wobbly. Well, my spiders are on their own. They're probably dead. That's pretty bad. Shoot, now they're following me. There's no door to shut. They're just going to take over the entire dungeon. I should back off because I think they won't multiply if I'm not around. They're still following me. Now they're going to take over this room. Not that that matters, but... Um, oh, I could have phased door. What, it only gave me two spiders? Can I, can I do more now? The summon spiders get angry. Oh. So they just get angry sometimes. So they, they no longer... Oh, that one's a pet. That one's a pet. Oh, so the first two I summoned are pets, but the ones I summoned after that are angry. That one's a pet, but it's almost dead. So they're fighting. These spider factions are fighting each other. I think I killed the hostile spiders. Well, that's that's complicated. Uh, what if I what if I try to keep them in formation more? Stay close. That do it? Yeah. All right, let's, let's see how far we can get with these louses. Probably not too far. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 
Actually, is Wobbly still alive? I think Wobbly's dead. Wobbly must be dead. He's not biting or kicking. Or she. Well, that's depressing. Oh, I could equip my shield now. Well, my spiders are all dead. Everybody's dead. Ah. <laughs> uh, I cast the spider thing and I only got one spider. Cause maybe was it was because I was in this tiny hallway. Oh, no, I have two. Oh, I just can't see them all, I suppose. Yeah. Soft leather armor. I already have that. Oh, no, there's louses here. Oh, my spider got the louse. Well, that's that's one struck strike back in the spider louse war. Oops. Gah. Can I disarm this? Am I killing my spiders? What was I hitting? What was I hitting? Was it my spiders because I was blinded? That would suck. So wait, let me try something. If I summon more spiders now, that worked. Didn't say any of them got angry. Okay, I guess we're all cool. Oh yeah, I was gonna, did I find a stairway up? Yeah, there is one down there. I wanna see what the, what happens if I take that. Oh no, there's more louses here. Yeesh. Let's, uh, let's close this door. Oops, no, my spider's in the way of the door. Don't, ah, uh, sh Well, I would have to tell him to disperse a little bit, I guess. Louses everywhere. Oh, I'm weak. I probably need to eat. Um, anyway, let's... Louses everywhere. See where this goes. So, in theory, oh no, it did generate it. I'm on level two, but it's not, there's none of the level two I saw before seems to be here. Well, I don't know how that works. My cave spider bit the fruit bat and killed it. Oh no, my spiders are all dead. Well, it's just as well, because Wobbly did not seem to be getting along with the spiders. I, I don't know what that was about. He didn't know. Well, she, the horse did sometimes get along with him. Uh, uh, oh, I should be using my Dominate. Um, okay. Oh, Dominate a living thing. Ah. Uh, Dominate a living thing. Choose a target with asterisk. Yes, target the large brown snake. It hates me too much. Well, you stare at the large brown snake. This large brown snake hates you too much. Some beast master I am. But I think that's the way I could get more pets. You know, I can just try it on... Uh, Right on this, ah. Nope, centipede hates me too much. Ma oh. Ooh. It's probably because I took sexy. Sexy aggravates the monsters. 
Oh no. So I'm a beast master who all the beasts hate. Uh well, that backfired. I wonder if I should start over. Uh Oh no. I mean what? And I don't think you can change your personality or anything like that. I'm exploring super haphazardly because I feel like I've already been down here. Uh, so I took totally the wrong personality for a Beastmaster because even though Sexy raised my... Well, the spiders killed the Shrieker Mushroom. Um, let me try this next to a stairway, I guess. No. Uh, it raised my charisma, which is what governs how strong my... What did it say? Races, classes, personalities. Uh... Beast master. Charisma determines a beast master's spell casting ability, but so I can still do summons, but dominating is not going to be easy because I Because the personality of sexy raised all my abilities, but my by aggravate all monsters. <sighs> God. So they're all gonna hate me too much, probably. Oh no. So I'm a beast master who can only oh there's Frisia. Oh, I killed... No, I didn't kill Freezia yet. And a Goomba. Freezia's still alive. Ah, uh, no. It died. Or wait, what? It? I can't tell if is still... Oh, no, there's Freezia. Okay, Freezia's dead. Freezia's a cat. I, I don't know. My other torch is running out. Um... So I'm going to have to go back to town. Ah, uh, so I have a I have a compromised um compromised beastmaster. My I'm extra powerful with spells, but I can't do the domination so great. I'm probably not going to be able to, I mean, will I be able to get any more horses, you know? Will they just all hate me? Well, I don't think horses, if they're neutral to you to start with, maybe they don't hate you that much. Well, I'm down to my last torch, so I'll have to go back to town. I can learn another spell. I'm level seven. Uh, shuffle? Well, I can't learn that yet, so I can't actually learn anything. Oh, I should cast Phase Door at least. I get some XP from that. I think I have 254 XP left. Oh, it's not. I thought uh, thought you'd have it show how much XP you need to get to the next level. Yes. Why didn't I have that on? Show description of ammo damage. Show ammo damage with no critical. Well, can you get damage for your regular weapons? Am I, do I have damage for my regular weapon? Oh, maybe that just means the range of damage they do. Uh, well, I'm almost
almost out of torches, so I have to get out of here. Uh, oh, I guess I have to go down because there was no other way up. Shoot. Uh, I hope I don't get stuck in the dark down here. That would blow. Oh, no. So it did regenerate. Uh, not that one. Shoot. I... Another down shaft. Oh, that centipede killed the heck out of my spider, I think. Ah. What a mess. I can summon a heck of a lot of spiders, I guess. They're still weak. Uh, so that doesn't work. How am I going to get out of here? There's no way up past that floor two. I need, I need a shaft up. Is that going to happen? Have I trapped myself? Wait. I'm so confused. I am going to run out of torchlight. This is messed up. Oh no, is it out already? No, why was, why am I not? I was hoping that was a torch. Okay, there's a shaft up. So I have already been, no I haven't. Well, my scrawny horse evolved to a horse and then it died. Oh, yeah, I told it to destroy scrolls of summon monster, I guess. Or maybe it does that. Maybe it learned that they were bad from that experience. Because I thought they were good, and so I wasn't going to tell it to destroy scrolls of summon monster. We got a tree or something. If you destroy these rubble things, you sometimes get items out of them. Uh, no. Or centipedes. I found something, a gold potion. I don't know what it does. But mostly these trees are kind of confusing. Because you can move through the trees. Ah, there's a way out. But you end up in all these weird nooks in the wall that the trees have sort of hollowed out. There's rubble and stuff. There's some more rubble. See, that was all a pretty weird spot. Another tree here. Oh man, look at all this rubble. Sweet, sweet, delicious rubble. Where did that R go? Oh, my spider killed the echidna. Oh, I got a potion out of that rubble. Sweet, sweet rubble. What's this thing? Dagger. Hmm. Daggers are only 1.2 pounds. Maybe I'll use a dagger. Dagger. 
I don't know. Um, I'm not sure that maybe Zhang Band or Hang Band didn't at some point go back and and change the thing that makes uh, light weapons dominate in Hang Band because some things have. What was it that had? Well, FA Hang Band did, but FA Hang Band started on OA Hang Band, which explicitly did that. But there was another variant that did it. That I don't see people remark on much. Was it Frog? Okay, my torch is really going to run out. I, I still got a thousand turns. Whoa, look at this room. Yeah, I mean, it's big. Uh, this is the one I can't figure out. I mean, there's some staircases over there, but I already tried it near one type of staircase. Got some purple potions. Uh... trees how do the trees know to where to make rubble for potions to be oh I suppose if I really wanted money I should get a shovel or something so I can dig out all this treasure but Shovels weigh a lot. I'm still just compulsively exploring. 747 turns was my torch. There's a shaft down. That's not what I want to do. Well, I feel bad that I can't dominate most creatures thanks to my sexiness. I'm annoyed by that. I'm annoyed with this whole arrangement. <laughs> because it said I wanted charisma for my spell power. I I don't know. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe maybe is the sexiness worth it? I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, that's a down stairway. Dang it, I thought it was an up stairway. Uh I'm gonna get back to a stairway and get out of here. Oh, I died. I wasn't paying attention to my health. Well that solves that. I died from lack of food. That that's fitting. So, anyway, good good ending. So that was a screwed up character, and I can't say I'm glad they're gone, or I'm sad they're gone. Um, well, that was another messed up adventure. Uh, I still have not made it through the Yeet Cave, and I have not even survived to, to continue in the Yeet Cave. Uh, so note to self, don't... Maybe I'll make this the title of the episode. Don't make a sexy Beastmaster. Because then you're the Beastmaster that all the beasts hate. I wonder if my sexiness was pissing the spiders off. I, Because I didn't get that in the previous character I did that I, I didn't record, but I was just running around quickly with a, a Beastmaster before... And I never had the spiders attack me. I, I didn't have a mount, but I don't think the mount was it, really. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't go sexy with your Beastmaster. I, even though charisma would boost your spell power and it gives you plus three charisma, it basically ruins the whole summon side, or the dominate side of things. And maybe the summons. Because I aggravate all monsters. Well, yeah, it says you aggravate all monsters, not just hostile ones. So maybe if a monster is, you know, just sort of okay with you and they're your pet, but then you're you're doing your sexy walk and they just hate it. Those by some of those spiders are just like, man, she thinks she's all that. I'll show her. Um. Uh. 
and then don't forget to look at your health uh, and your your hunger. I, I get distracted easily with all the spiders. That's my excuse. It's the spiders' fault that I, I starved to death in the newbie dungeon <laughs> and I was running out of torchlight. Oh, that was sad. All right, well, that was another hangman adventure. I uh, I have a lot to learn about hangman, but, I mean, these deaths have totally been my fault, and I don't feel like they were sprung on me. Like, I, I starved to death. That That's a bad a bad thing to let yourself do. It was sure I'm... I'm sure it was when I look back on this, I'll see that it was telling me I was weak and so forth in the lower left, probably, and I was not paying attention. And I died like a complete fool, complete sexy fool. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. Don't make a sexy Beastmaster. Thanks for watching this, though. Next time, well, next time I'll probably play some Hangband, but the time after that I will probably try Hangband again, try to see if I can get anywhere in the newbie dungeon again, and I will not accept it giving me randomly a sexy Beastmaster. No more sexy Beastmasters. Uh, unless maybe sometime in the far future I really need to challenge myself because it seems a little self-defeating and I don't like my spiders biting me. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, good night. Oh no, it's not quitting. Why does it always do this to me? Well, it's been that kind of night. I don't even know what this new icon Windows 11 is showing. Okay, well, thanks, Windows 11. Um, I'm going to have to do this the messy way. Well, thanks for watching.